Welcome, my name is Olaf and at Eckhart Yoga we developed a program covering the various uh, asanas named after animals. You can join us at clicking the link here, ding, and now we will cover two of them, Garuda Asana, Eagle Pose and Hamsa Asana, Swan Pose. Both poses have a mythological roots because they are the mount of two deities. We'll start off with Garuda Asana, a standing pose. So, from Tadasana, shift the weight towards the right, bending both the legs, then lifting up the left leg over the right leg, hooking the left foot over under the right lower leg, gazing at the point two meters in front of you, extending the left arm, bending it, Underneath it goes the right arm, bending it as well, placing the right palm of the hand on the inside of the left wrist, extending the thumbs and placing the right thumb on Aina Chakra, Rudra Granti, the place, the point between the eyebrows. Stay in this pose for a couple of breaths. And then release the hands in front of the heart, back to Tadasana, releasing the legs. Left side as well, shift your weight towards the left, bending both legs, lifting up the right leg, the right leg over the left leg, and with the right foot, grasp the lower left leg. Then extend the right arm diagonally in front of you, bend it to a 90 degree angle, left arm goes underneath, place the left hand on the inside of the right wrist, extending the thumbs, place the left thumb between the eyebrows on Rudra Granti, gaze at a point several meters in front of you, stay here for a couple of breaths, and then release the arms, place the hands in Namaste, make sure the body is still upright, and then release the legs, back to Tadasana, mountain pose. Second pose is Swan Pose, the mount of Brahma, the creator of the world. From Cat Pose, Bidalasana, place the forehead between the hands, roll to the top of the head, relocate the hands, so the hands are beneath the elbows, and the elbows are just beneath the soft side of the abdomen. Uh, extend the legs, so the elbows are sinking in the soft side of the abdomen, the upper arms are resting on the lower ribs. Place the feet towards, uh, against each other, push the heels away, and then lift up the head. Then shift the weight forward into full Hamsasana. Stay there for a couple of breaths. And then shift your weight back, bending the legs, push yourself up into cat pose. Crossing the legs into a comfortable seated position. Hope you join us at Eckhart Yoga. See you next time.